There is one organ which causes high blood pressure, and it's not what you think. And there are specific exercises you can use to target and fix your blood pressure easily. No diet, lifestyle changes, or medication required. Check the link in the description below. But for now, today's question. The question, is it true that eating salt does not help lower your blood pressure contrary to traditional belief? Answer by Eric Morrison. That depends on what a person is calling salt. Iodized table salt, pure sodium chloride with added iodine and flow agents aka binders and products that help absorb moisture so that it does not clump. Wow, so healthy, IRL emoji. On the other hand, rock salts like Celtic salt, sea salt. Pink Himalayan etc. are actually proprietary natural blends of naturally occurring electrolytes, yeah, that all came from the ocean at some time. Teeming with life, and trace elements, you know, your borons and seleniums and such. These types of salt will help with lowering blood pressure as part of a total environmental and eating ritual change. Take my dad for example. Yeah, I have not written anything about him lately and I just had the pleasure of seeing him after a longer period than usual. But this time a little over a year ago he was still on meds for his heart after a triple bypass. He did all the normal stuff like cut out his salt walk with a heart rate monitor, go to all the dietitian education sessions for post-op heart patients, put a treadmill in his living room, walked on the treadmill the required amount, at the diet they gave him, and got fatter and more tired. Brain fog started to settle in, that's dadding you know, forgetting his keys etc. Couldn't bend over to tie his shoes, peripheral neuropathy setting in his lower legs. Then Father's Day come and he said he was fed up and ready to try out his crazy son super dad nutrition plan. It's not as fancy looking as the 28 page transformation package I made up for the B and as I used to do for television commercials. But it's like me. Nothing fancy, straight to the point, pictures, cookie monster memes and a specific protocol for getting his metabolism back online. Two weeks later, my phone rings while I'm up in the merchandise complex condo development using my friend's pad as a YouTube video set. Great lighting. Hey, me sunny. Hey Dadio. That's my phone name for my dad. And the only one that does that one. What's this tablespoon of pink salt for? Is it that not good for my blood pressure? No, just take it. Take more if you like. Just drink when you feel like it and... Oh, yeah, you're already on the well without fluoride so I don't have to tell you that one. Yeah, it make it so your cellular fluid can't hold a charge. Righty ho then. You'll do that. I won't bore you with the rest of the conversation. Fast forward another week. I go over to my dad's. My brother and sister are there and when I come in they are all grinning and laughing. I see my dad. Holy shoot. Down over 20 pounds. I weighed him and did his skin folds at the beginning. I left that out I think. He also stopped exercising, used the treadmill as a clothing rack and ate fat like it was going out of style. Fast forward today. Weight loss sustained and the total ended up closer to 30 pounds. No meds. All gone. Did you know the beta blocker he was on was one of the causes of the peripheral neuropathy? Hashtag love fat western medicine. Blood pressure normal. Short detention span answer. Table salt bad. Rock slash sea slash complete natural salts good. Eat. Yes. Good. CF 2017. Answer by. Sudarshan Shetty. One concept and result of research. I believe it says, reduce salt intake and it helps in reducing the high blood pressure to normal ranges. Please note, I have mentioned that it helps in reducing high blood pressures. It's proven beyond doubt that sodium has a role in hypertension. Logically, eating less salt should help in reducing high blood pressures. If you ask me in how many days would you notice blood pre sure changes after salt intake restriction, then I have no fixed number of days as an answer. I have seen that it has helped my patients, and there are scientific research to back that up. In some tribal populations who have never used salt in their diets for generations, have no hypertension, just proving addition of salt could be a reason for high blood pressure. And this is not a traditional belief anymore. Answer by Heck Makukas. Well, decreasing salt in diet is one of the things one can do when trying to manage high blood pressure with lifestyle modifications. However, this is one of the least beneficial things to do. It has so little benefit that many are now skipping it. For instance, exercising is the best lifestyle modification one can do to control blood pressure. A and D. The next on the line is having a diet rich in fruits and vegetables. 
this had an acronym I forgot. So basically eating fruits and veggies will help control your blood pressure more than cutting down on salt. So yeah, it is true that salt won't be that much of a help. Just to be clear, in talking about essential hypertension aka the hypertension one gets with age. I'm not talking about secondary hypertension due to some endocrine dysfunction for example, where salt might have a more significant role to play.